Hi, my name is Val and I do product development here at CircuitScribe. Today I'm going to talk to you about the switch module. The switch module has two states, off and on. And you have this little switch on top to toggle between them. What a switch looks like on the inside is kind of like this guy. You got one piece of conductive material here and one piece of conductive material here connecting to each of the feet. And then you have the actual switch right there. So in the off state, that's what the switch looks like. In the on state, this guy swings over and closes up. So I just have a continuous line from one foot to the other. Switches are great because they mean we don't have to keep all the parts of our circuit on all the time when we have power. We can use the switch to toggle on and off things like LEDs, buzzers, motors. Let's make a simple circuit using a battery, switch, and LED. And we'll use the switch to turn the LED on and off. So now we have a complete circuit. So we have our power module, our switch module, and our LED module. When the switch is on, we're able to get current to go from the battery all the way through it lighting up the LED and back to ground making a complete circuit. When the switch is off, we have an open circuit. So remember the diagram we drew before. When the switch was like this, a continuous line, we were able to get current from the battery to the LED because we had a closed circuit. When the switch is in the off position, we have an open circuit and current can't make its way to the LED because there's no way to go through the switch. It's an open switch. Close it, current all day. Open it, no current. So with the switch we just talked about, it stays in whatever state you leave it in. So if you turn it on, it's going to stay in the on position. If you turn it off, it'll stay in the off position. What if you just want something that works while you're touching it? So you just want it to be on while you're touching it and you want it to turn off as soon as you let go. I'm gonna show you how to make a paper switch out of the corner of your paper. You can also use this if you just don't have a switch. Say you lost your module or you got a kit that doesn't have a switch module in it. You can use the paper switch. So let us grab our power module and our LED module, but not our uh, switch module this time. So what we're gonna do is draw a place for our power to go. And then a place for our LED to go. And then, instead of drawing a spot for a normal switch, what I'm gonna do is fold my paper over like this so I can see that crease. And then I'm going to draw a big pad right here. And then a big pad right here. So when the paper folds over, they will connect. So now, I want to draw from the positive of where my battery goes to one side of my LED. Then I'm going to connect my LED, the other side of it, to one of these dots. I'm going to pick the top one. And then I'll connect the other big dot to the negative of the battery, just like that. All right, let's put our modules in place. We're going to put our battery down, our LED down, switch on the battery, and then let's connect our paper switch. Ta-da! So now, only while I'm using the paper switch and pushing it down do we get a light going on. So that's a brief introduction on how to use our switch module and how to create a paper switch using the corner of your page. Uh, for more information on how to use other modules, check out our other videos. Thanks. Bye, guys.